Coach Steve says, I started learning because of your books, mate. I really appreciate the work you've done and found it incredibly helpful. I now have a teacher online once a week and it works so well. Arigato gozaimasu. Yeah, if you guys can find a tutor, a teacher or a tutor up on, I always recommend italki because I don't have my own service to sell yet. The moment I have my own service to sell, I'm gonna recommend fromzero.com where you can get teachers to help you out, but we don't have that yet. italki.com though, if you go to learnfz.com slash italki, I-T-A-L-K-I, there's a $5 coupon you can get. I get a $5 coupon and you get a $5 coupon when you put money into the system. I use italki even to this day to learn languages. I love it because it's just, it's really just a fancy way to connect with people. And the really cool thing about italki is it's kind of like a way to pay for a friend. If you get like the tutor thing and you're paying like what, 15 bucks or something like that for the hour, it's like a paid Japanese friend that has to talk to you no matter what. And you can be super selfish with them. You talk about anything you want to talk about. You don't have to talk about them if you don't want to. You can make it all about you. And it's it's win-win because you're getting practice and they're getting money. And here's the cool thing. If you don't like that person, move on to someone else. If that person isn't your style of person, find someone else. There's hundreds of people you can go through on italki.com. I've made more than one video showing you how to find people on italki. Can't wait to experience this when I go to Japan in 2026. That's why I'm learning Japanese and to talk to Japanese girls. Bugs, 100%, do yourself a favor. If you wanna talk to Japanese girls, first thing you should do, honestly, from this point forward, go to italki.com Look for some cute Japanese girls as tutors and pay them to talk to you so you can learn how to talk to them. Get rid of all the awkwardness before you go to Japan. And then when you meet a girl, hey, you know what? You might meet meet your wife. You might meet your wife, your life partner. Or you could mess it up and she goes and marries someone else. So yeah, spend the money, it's worth it. Jonathan says, make sure that if you're trying to talk to Japanese girls, you get a nice haircut, wear some nice clothes and some nice shoes. Not bad advice. I have a guy that I know that had really long hair. I told him he should cut it, but he didn't want to cut it. He was proud of his hair. He had it for, I don't know, forever. It was like all the way down his back. It was his thing. He went to Japan, cut it right away. Like right away, he realized it wasn't working. The hair did not work. In Japan, you got to kind of conform to a societal norm. So I agree, get a good haircut. Nice shoes, yes. Girls look at shoes. When I went to Korea, I got a nice watch because I know Koreans look for wealth. That's a Korean trait. They, they like people that have money. So I don't normally, like I have a watch now. I always wear my Apple watch. But before I had my Apple watch, I had no watch. And I went to buy a watch. And I was with my wife and she's like, but you don't wear a watch. It's like, yeah, honey, but I'm going to Korea. And she knew right away. She's like, oh yeah, yeah, Koreans would value that. So I had this nice gold. It's like, it's not even a $100, $200 watch. It was like fossil, you know, a cheapy fossil, but it looked really expensive. And when I wore that, I feel like people paid attention a little bit more because it looked like the, I, I should get rings and things like, you know, rings and like an earring, you know, image is important. Ubi Dube says, for hair, you can either conform or go completely opposite direction, LOL. Depends on who you're going for, I guess. I went with a mohawk and people loved it. 